U. The selection of small yet powerful gaming machines has seemingly divided itself into two distinctly different camps. One is made up of extremely inexpensive and small PCS that often have a mobile discrete graphics chip, such as the iBuyPower SBX and Alienware Alpha. The other consists of powerful mini towers that make few compromises but cost thousands such as the Origin Chronos and Falcon Northwest Tiki. U. Digital Storm S Eclipse offers a third option, starting at $699 and leveling off at $1. $299. This rig is the same size as the Chronos. In fact, it uses the same enclosure, but provides more modest hardware. Well, perhaps modest is not the correct word. Our tricked-out review unit arrived with an unlocked Intel quad-core, 8 gigabytes of RAM and a GTX 970 graphics card. U. This slots the Eclipse snugly between the budget boxes and luxurious boutique towers. But the U, which one our editor S choice, is a potential alternative and offers quicker hardware in its beefiest configurations. Can Digital Storm S mid-range rig find a way to shine? U. Billing itself a slim tower of power. The Eclipse comes is 15 inches tall, 14 inches deep and only 4 inches wide. The S not much larger than Microsoft S Xbox One. Its bright red chassis definitely draws the eye, though the matte finish means it won't to be too distracting. That said, Gamers who want a machine to blend in with their black box consoles might be put off by its loud look. You, the Eclipse as thin design made it feel a bit precarious when standing upright. And while it as advertised as able to lie horizontally, doing so can obstruct the GPU fans in this configuration. You, I'll need to find a way to elevate the machine unless it as used vertically. A set of rubber feet are included to help stabilize the tower in its vertical position. But we found they came off too readily and were easy to lose. They also felt cheap. You, for such a small machine, the Eclipse certainly manages to provide an ample number of ports and connection options. Two USB ports sit up front, alongside headphone and microphone jacks. On the back are another six USB ports four of which are three. Zero. U. Our particular review unit benefited from a Z97 motherboard, which supplied built-in Wi-Fi access, as well as integrated audio. Display ports include two HDMI and another two DVI ports for dual monitor setups. The ports, 